One word we seem to hear so much, especially these days when talking about searching for a job, is networking. But what exactly is it? And just how do you use it to find the job you really want? When Sheffield is a career coach with the Five O'Clock Club, Alana Tepper is a networking success story who found her dream job despite the miserable job market. Good to have you both with us this morning. Thank you. Thank you. So, when real quickly, for people who aren't familiar with it, what is the Five O'Clock Club? The Five O'Clock Club is an organization that's 30 years old that helps people to keep on their job search. They provide a career coach like myself, right. and you sit with other people who are looking for a job who mm -hmm. are in your level, and they work with the coach to help each other move forward. So that's part of the networking, as we've learned so much about. Talk to people, and you never know who you're going to meet. I know you actually have um, some key points to that, and one of the first ones being remember your goals. Basically, don't sell yourself short. That's right. If you go out there and say, I can do anything, if you get desperate, mm -hmm. people don't react well to that. People need to know that you're heading in a direction. Yes, in this economy, you might have to move off of that, but at least they have a sense that you know who you are and what you want. And where you want to be. Also, you say when, when it comes to networking, ask people for information, not directly for a job, because that That's can right. lead to a lot of things. And, and to really talk about your strengths. That's right. You want to be sure with people that you're having a positive message. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be just saying, well, you know, I'm, I'm looking for anything. I'll take anything I can. You've got to be, in, you've got to be exact in what, in what you want. Comes back to knowing your goals and, and really accentuating how you can get there. And finally, you say, work in teams. That's right. Uh, one of the things that Alana did was to reach out to a lot of her network to find who she could find to help her. Mm -hmm. And you want to be on a day-to-day -day basis, if you're working on your job search and you're sitting at looking at the computer all day, what kind of life is that? That's not going to keep you moving forward. Right. That's not going to keep you positive. And so, Alana, you actually, this was part of your severance package because you were laid off. Yes. How do you think the networking actually contributed to you finding a job because you are employed? Yes. I just got a job last week. Um, exactly how he said it, I networked and that's how I got my job. Um, I reached out to all of my old contacts, um, someone that I used to work with, and it kind of, that's how this job fell in place. And what did you say when you're reaching out to them? Because it's easy to hear the tips from the career coach, but I think for a lot of people to hear somebody who's actually made it work for them, you know, what did you, when you call all these people up out of the blue and said, hey, I haven't talked to you in a little while, how do you, how do you pose that, that question? You one of the other themes of the five o'clock club is to come up with a two minute pitch so you kind of have to have that drilled in your head and you know i kind of just use that this is what i'm looking for you know this is what i have you know experience in and basically you just give all that information and that's what i did so you called up a lot of people people that you had worked with friends family we've talked a lot on this program too as we talk about looking for a job in this environment using things like social networking sites facebook myspace did you use any of those were they helpful for you i used facebook linkedin is a really good one um I I used everything that so, you can possibly use. Everything, <laughs> everything that's out there. Um, now, I, I know that for you, this was actually part of your severance package. Yes. But this service, while it teaches some great things, it may not be as cheap for, for a lot of people, especially if they're not getting it free. So what kind of costs are we talking about when? Generally, <clears throat> if you buy five sessions, it's something like $50 a session Okay. Uh, if you're under $100,000. And, and is there sort of an average time that you think networking could get you a job or, or that it helps to speed up that, that job finding process, would you say? I think the experts say that 80% of the jobs are found through networking and in this environment, I'm sure that's slowing down. Right. But there's no doubt in my mind that it will speed it up. Exactly how much I wouldn't want to be in a position <laughs> of guaranteeing. I never tell my clients that you're going to have a job in X number of weeks. Right, right. But, but you give them lots of great ways to find a job. Alana Tepper, Winch, I feel great to have you both with us. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much.